All right, Sarah, here's uh, one of your runs from Plummet the other day, slalom training. Let's check it out first in regular motion, then we'll look at it in uh, slow-mo. Let's check out some of this. Uh, so first comment is um, uh, slalom these days uh, because the gates, you know, come at you so fast. We we really don't have time for this up on waiting. So uh, what it, it, we use what is called retraction, which is basically down on waiting. We'll come through and actually suck up. Um, with the knees and appears to be like in a sitting position in between but the idea is getting our feet from one side of us to another so we have to allow the skis to cross under us um, but we don't have time to stand up so we kind of you know suck them up absorb it push them out to the other side because here you know you rise up you have no chance of, of coming down in time to pressure the ski and you're so wide of that gate right there. Same idea, he came up, rose up a little bit. You're probably not going to be real, real close to it because you don't have the time. So let, let's work on, uh, I know it's something potentially new for you, but um, you know, retraction in between the gates. Um, you know, number two, um, you know, we just need a little better uh, upper and lower body separation, as you can probably see there. Um, not level, uh, not level shoulders. Um, so, you know, those angles we were working on free skiing this weekend, uh, you know, rolling up the knees and really getting some knee angulation. I mean, that's what you'd kind of want to start with here. We'd want that upper body, like we were doing that drill, to be here and the knees here producing you know level shoulders so uh, you know tough to bring it right to the uh, the race course but keep working on it in your uh, in your free skiing you know in the meantime uh, we just have to as best we can be more face down the hill because because of the leaning in the rotation uh, to, to make your turns it just causes a lot of skidding so, you know, a couple things. One, if you watch the tip of the week, it was, you know, block the inside pole. So imagine there's an inside pole, um, you know, right here. Reach forward and block that one, too. Trying to get yourself more square down the hill, um, and that could help. Throwing in a double pole plant also helps. If you came in to double pole plant, um, chances are you'd be pushing the inside pole hand forward, keeping yourself square down the hill and not this rotation and, and, and leaning in. You know, and also, you got to tighten the lineup. I mean, you're, you're wide of a lot of these gates. Some, we discussed why you're wide. Um, others, you're just plain old wide. So, it's a little less up and down motion. Try to learn how to retraction. And try to use the inside hand to drive forward down the middle of the course. Which hopefully would keep you more you know, square down the hill here obviously you know you rotated the upper body as soon as you did that the hip went this way and the skis flattened out and, and the turn you know turn skidded so if we can maintain going more down the hill we'll have better angles 
your back and your backside should be pointing up the hill the whole time. And clearly it's, it's swung around this way, causing rotation, um, flatness of the skis, and skidding. So, so as best we can, uh, a little less up and down motion like that. All right, standing up way too tall. Um, you know, and try to be more square down the hill as best we can. You know, maybe drive the inside for hand forward, uh, block that imaginary pole, double pole plant, and we'll try to cut down the rotation and uh, work on a little more knee angulation so we can get some upper and lower body separation. And hopefully that will help.